Welcome to the CyberJE Podcast, the place where we discuss all things cybersecurity and GRC. I am Richard Perry, your cybersecurity and GRC enthusiast. The aim of this podcast is to provide a meaningful value added platform via which upcoming cybersecurity professionals like yourself can gain insights from various topics covering cybersecurity and GRC that will enable them to become professionals that the industry demands. Stay tuned for what next on the CyberJA podcast. Every week on the CyberJ podcast, the place where we discuss all things cybersecurity and GRC, and also the place where upcoming cybersecurity professionals can gain practical mentorship through the stories of other professionals in the industry. I take time to highlight the post of individuals on LinkedIn within my network that I find very insightful that may also be of value to you in some way. So let's dive right into the stories that I've uncovered. The very first one that we are looking at is a post by Dr. Yoon Johnson, an executive leadership coach, professor of communication, and also the author of the well-known book, Brand You. Now let me share the content of this post with you. And for sure, you want to check the details of uh, Dr. Yoon Johnson's profile. And very importantly in our post, and I definitely believe that the information that is shared here can be of value to many of us cybersecurity professionals and also for persons who are definitely seeking to position themselves for employment. And as is stated in our post, she stated that I had the opportunity to read a cover letter from a job candidate applying for a position. It exhibited their academic qualifications and some professional experience. Yet it was hard to decipher the unique value the candidate could deliver and how the organization might benefit from its encounter with this individual. And very important is the fact that she said that your resume already outlines your experience and qualifications. So your cover letter needs to do something else your cover letter ought to want. And these are the advice that she gives in relation to preparing your resume as well as your cover letter. And the first thing is that respond to the ask of the job description. Therefore, exhibit core competencies that show that you can do the job as stated. You want to outline how your skills help solve organizational pain points versus simply recounting your various job experiences. Open, it is implied. Secondly, she suggests that you outline how your personal values align with the organization's overall mission and values. Thirdly, exhibit your human skills, how, your, how you operate within a team environment, especially increasingly diverse ones. This is becoming super relatively important because employers know you can do the job. They're often unclear whether they can work with you. Thirdly, she suggests that show some community or civic involvement. Being engaged in the community shows that you are invested in the community or the world that you want to live in. Organizations for the sake of building and maintaining your reputation are also mindful that they operate within a community and want employees who are also oriented to respond to the needs of the community outside the organization. Besides, show that you are a full person and show up fully yourself in whatever space you wish to operate in. So these are very important pointers that definitely can aid you in successfully landing jobs within any sector. So I thought this to me was very insightful and can also be very be very uh, uh, valuable to you as you seek employment in various job markets. Now let us look at our second 
post that I found also very insightful that may also add value to you in some way or the other. So in this post by, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, Driton Saliavski, the, the Director, Nordic Head of Cyber M&A Transaction Services, and is also a CISO. And a very important um, note in his post that garnered some amount of traction is that he stated three and a half cybersecurity courses that will increase your chances of breaking into the field by 97.9%. Can we please stop the madness? And this is something that I have always tried to reinforce and bring across within the industry, that there's no way based on the competitiveness of cybersecurity that you can attend a boot camp, do a three day or three week course to say that you're a, a full blown pen tester or a cybersecurity professional. It goes beyond this. You have to be a realistic when it comes on to making these decisions. Right. So it goes on to say that nothing is going to get you into cybersecurity without hard work. No such thing as easy or a silver bullet solution. Right. So most all material is fantastic. Here is what you should do to cut through the noise. And it provides a number of um, advice. Right. So take advantage of the way you will learn, not the way others learn. Here's what that means. I am very visual, so I absolutely love Keith Barker, who has a networking fundamentals and CBT nuggets. That is phenomenal for me, right? So this is um, Driton giving his uh, feedback, his opinion. I don't have a long attention span, so I absolutely love Professor Messer's short video clips. Thirdly, I am an active learner, so building, breaking, and fixing problems in a verbal lab is what works for me. Azure for students is fantastic for this. And it continues. Here are nine learning styles. Find yours and accelerate your learning, which is very important. Because oftentimes we want to adapt the learning style of others, so but we must find ours. Visual learners. As the first thing, these individuals learn best when they can see the information presented in charts, diagrams, illustrations, or other visual aids. Secondly, auditory learners. These learners prefer to listen to lectures, discussion, or recording to observe information. Thirdly, read or write learners. This group uh, learns best through reading and writing such as studying textbooks, taking notes, or engaging in written assignments. Fourthly, the kinesthetic learners. These learners benefit most from hands-on activities such as demonstrations, experiments, or physical movements. Active learning, students engage in activities that promote critical thinking, collaboration, and knowledge application. Retrieval practice, learners record information from memory using self-quizzing flashcards and questions without notes. And it goes on with a number of other suggestions. So he's saying that go there and figure this part of your learning out and break into cybersecurity. I am passionate for people and love to see others succeed. So very importantly, the fact, the guys that he has outlined, the fact that this thing of being promised a cybersecurity job after completing a course, maybe within two or three days, is absolutely madness and also create a sense of false hope, which makes it even more frustrating for many of us who are trying to break into cybersecurity. So there we have it, guys, my two highlights. I definitely hope that you find this very insightful. And for sure, you can get the details of these posts and also to get to know more about these individuals, their journey, their, uh, their reputation, their engagement. You can also engage with these individuals by visiting the links in the description provided below. And very importantly, please share, like, and subscribe for all updates 
Until then, I am Richie Perry, your cybersecurity and GRC enthusiast.